powerful, moving, and even haunting. Find out why on Into the Music's Track of the Day. So my description of the song in the intro, uh, powerful and moving and haunting, uh, all that is has probably just raised the bar, right? So uh, the song better bring it. Uh, I think it will. I mean, I wouldn't have put those adjectives to the song if I didn't think that this song was worthy. Uh, it is. Uh, it That's the effect that it had on me. Uh, and it's why I want to presented to all of you and I'm sure some of you already know the song and just want to see what I had to say about it which is cool um and I have some things to say about it it's just an amazing song I think I just raised that bar even a little bit higher so um with that said uh let's get into the song Wait for it. The face. Can a beginning of a song be any more beautiful than this, than that beginning? But also so achingly, it's heartbreaking because there is like, there's, I don't know, there's, there's um, darkness. Um, there's like a lonely soul that's coming out of this song so far out of the beginning. You know, it's coming out. It's just, it's lonely. It's searching. Yeah, maybe the fact that I listened to the song several times, but um, so I'm getting that. But I think I I recall like the first time I heard the song, I I just I kind of got that feeling. It's just so beautiful. Uh, Okay, let me pull it back a little bit. the base base the piano the keys How it just all the sound just and it's just it's stripped and it's like almost that silent and just that piano and the drumming. Yeah. 
beautiful freaking bass. So what do you think? You think powerful and moving and haunting? Do you think those are adequate uh, words to uh, use to describe this song? I mean, haunting, that, for me, that came later after I found out uh, about Richard and his life, his short life. He died at age of 41 from alcoholism or complications from being an alcoholic almost his whole entire adult life. Um, yeah, it's so sad. And so this song, uh, was, um, in the album, the hex, the hex in 2018, and it got really great reviews. Uh, but I think he died shortly after this album was released. So as the reviews were coming out from pitchfork and all music and other publications, um, it was basically, you know, already, uh, knowing about his death. So it was kind of like, it was his final album, you know, and everyone knew it when they were writing about it. Um, the music is, is, I mean, now, you know, when I listen to a song now, knowing all that, you know, this might have been that final farewell from him. You know, I mean, some reviews said that the whole album was kind of like a goodbye, but this song, I think, is right there with, with it. It's just, it's just moving. It's, it's just, it's sad. It's, it's beautiful. In its sadness, um, just the bass playing, uh, the the keys, um, that little bueno, bueno, you know, that's sort of that one part, like just keeps repeating the keys, um, the bass playing, like I said, uh, and the drumming, you know. In fact, the song right starts out with that. That sort of the drumming starts it, and then you brings it in with the bass and the piano. The piano is just haunting too. The way it was mic'd up and which it's it's just you know it's like piano playing from the other side. You know, it's like the whole song really is like it's coming from the other side. It's not coming from this from this world. Um. And I got that kind of feeling even before I found out about Rich's life uh, and his death. Um, there was just something this was this was attacking my heart and my soul. Um, yeah, the first time that I heard it, it grabbed me. 
So, yeah, uh, Richard Swift, a bass player for the Black Keys and uh, Wilco and The Shins and Big Time Producer. Uh, there's a lot more of his music. I've listened to a few songs. Uh, so, and yeah, I'm definitely hooked. I mean, he was an amazing musician. So there's a lot more of Richard's music that I need to dive into. Um, so, yeah, put in the comments. Uh, if you know Richard's work, what do you think is that next one that I need to listen to and to react to for the first time, right? And with that said, yeah, thank you for thank you for joining me and and sort of um, taking this kind of you know deep dive into the song into this artist. I think he's worth it. And with that said, I'll see all of you on next episode of Into the Music. <laughs>